Um, here's the point, you know, uh, everybody <laughs> deals with fear. It's just part of human experience. The, the real question is, you know, how are you going to face it? And uh, a couple of suggestions I'm aware of. The first comes from the, the famous physicist Marie Curie. Um, Madame Curie said, and I quote, nothing in life is to be feared. It is only to be understood. And that's a powerful idea, that understanding and knowledge uh, can somehow vanquish fear. And I thought that was very profound uh, until I realized that it's a total crock. <laughs> um, it, it is, because um, I had a student years ago who became obsessed with a documentary he had seen about the disease Ebola. I mean, he was terrified at the whole concept of Ebola. He couldn't even sleep at night. And, you know, as a teacher, I saw myself as, um, you know, a purveyor of knowledge, a, a beacon of light, um, a protector to the young. Um, and so I took it upon myself to sit my student down and share with them my knowledge. Nothing in life is to be feared, I revealed. <laughs> It is only to be understood. And then patiently, I um, explained to my student that Ebola is merely one of many highly contagious <laughs> um, hemorrhagic viruses. Um, this one thought to have originated in Africa and been passed on to humans by cute little monkeys. Um, and then I reviewed with my student the process by which a virus uh, multiplies, how they are able to incorporate their own DNA into that of a host organism, thereby taking over that host cell by cell. <laughs> um, and then I wanted to make sure that my student understood the implications of a geometric growth curve. <laughs> and, you know, in the, in the presence of all that knowledge, I just had to you know, shake my head and chuckle. Like. <laughs> and, um, and, and, and I remarked that uh, how incredible it really is that these tiny, tiny invaders can take over an organism so complex as a human being, causing all of the organs to hemorrhage at once as the person bleeds to death from within, reduced to a sack of blood. <laughs> it's, it's really quite remarkable once it's understood. <laughs> I had never seen a person become a catatonic. <laughs> Catatonia is really quite remarkable. <laughs> I know you think I'm a monster, but I want you to know I stayed by that kid's side until the ambulance came, <laughs> sharing with him my knowledge of electric shock therapy. 